the Nintendo eShop channel is closing on this day. I, I can't remember it. And, you know, it, it's heartbreaking. It's not as heartbreaking as the Wii Shop channel closing because no one used it when the eShop came around. And also the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection is a thing. So it kind of made sense why the Wii Shop channel was closing. And it wasn't that heartbreaking because we still have the Wii U. But now the Wii U and 3DS one is closing. <laughs> Nintendo, that's a terrible idea. I'm going to gush about the Wii U eShop, okay, and how just absolutely great it is. The music is absolutely top-notch. I would play some, but then Nintendo would copyright claim this video, and I don't want that. Uh, the sorting is just absolutely incredible. Like, I can always see what's happening, and the virtual console is just, it's just the best thing Nintendo's added in years. Yeah, the Wii U one is great and all. But the Switch one sucks. When you go on there, it's so bland. There's no music at all. It's sorted horribly, and they're just focused on great deals. Check out these new games. And it, you can never find a game that is under $50 in there. It's so dumb. And there's no virtual console. I was going to explain this part with, like, edited video style and the cool entertaining way, but I'm just gonna make a bit for this one. Hey guys, BTW, the Nintendo eShop is closing down on Wii U and 3DS. Oh, that's really cool. I guess we'll get virtual console on the- Nintendo Switch. I, I love that. I can't believe it's coming to Switch. And no, we won't bring back the virtual console. Don't close the Wii U eShop. The virtual console is incredible and the cheapest way to play retro games. No. The virtual console isn't a free service. I'm literally- I'm giving you my money. Don't care, I don't want your money, I want your tears. Do anything for virtual con- Whatever. Alright then, uh, the up next is something I like to call the, uh, Minish Cap effect. As you can see here, the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap is going for this much money, and it is expensive. And I could buy it off the eShop for $7.99, and Nintendo would be getting the money. And if I were to buy it off of this small business for this amount of money, Nintendo would not be getting this much money. The business would be getting that much money, which means that Nintendo is literally losing money by getting rid of the service. Oh, I am. I'm only burning my half. All you care about is money. This town deserves a better class of criminal. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, but Mr. Lagoon, man, what about the Nintendo Switch Online service? Don't even get me started on the Nintendo Switch Online service, all right? The games they offer suck and give me, like, five minutes of entertainment. Plus, it can only be played online. The reason why I have the Pro subscription is because of the DLC it gives me. Like, look at that. It's so cheap. My epic Nintendo rant on how they suck. I know people do this all the time, but I feel like this one is just kind of like a gimme because... That was one of the dumbest decisions they've made just in in years. I get closing the Wii one, but the Wii U one is just, it baffles me. It baffles me, especially because it supports like Wii and DS games, which is something that they would never do now because what, do they want us to, I do they just expect us to buy a console? Like if I want to play my childhood game, I'm gonna go out and buy a DS and play a uh, new Super Mario Bros. DS and spend like over $100. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, I wanna replay the game on a current console for like 10 bucks, which is a way cheaper option. Anyways, that's my rant. Uh, subscribe, it really helps me out since I'm a small creator and it's free, it costs nothing, so. And yeah, just do it, subscribe, go, have fun.